In this episode with Making Art with Mrs. Delude, we are going to be making mandalas. Mandala is Sanskrit, which is a language meaning a circle. They are usually made with geometric designs that hold a great deal of symbolism in Hindu cultures. You will usually see circles within squares and arranged into sections. Don't worry about that. I will show you how to do it in a minute. But there are three types of mandala, teaching, healing, and sand. The teaching ones are how we are going to describe ourselves. Each line, color, will represent a different aspect of the artist. So today, when you are creating your mandalas, I want you to think about what your art wants to say about you or you as a creator. One of a contemporary artist that we are gonna look at is named Stephanie Smith. She is a contemporary artist, which means she does art today. She has made over 1,500 mandalas in four years. She does a mix between painting and drawing materials. One of the things that you will see in her artwork is rhythm. She says that is one of the most important parts of mandala. She says, art isn't about technique, it's about expression. Another thing that she says is when people ask me if a particular culture or wisdom or tradition influenced my work, the answer is yes, almost always yes. It comes from an inspiration. Now, it is your turn. Materials that you will need today is sidewalk chalk and a place to draw on cement. Now, if you do not have sidewalk chalk or a place to draw, this can easily be done with crayon or marker on a piece of white paper. However you start, you need to start with a square. As we talked earlier in the video, this is very important to mandalas. I have lightly drawn some guidelines and put a dot in the middle. This will be your reference dot. Whatever you do, you must do evenly, geometrically, across. So you can see that I started with a circle and then I decided to make some triangular shapes all the way around the circle. Make sure these are the same in each quadrant. You can change in different shapes by filling in to get different variety in your artwork. You can do swirls, you can do flower petals, you can even outline in different colors. It really doesn't matter and I want to, to suggest that you be creative, but you have to make sure that you are doing the same all the way around the mandala or your center point. When you get to the bigger parts, as you can see where I'm pointing, you might wanna break it up so that you can do it evenly. So this is the finished example that you can do. Use lots of colors. Now there is another way that you can do this project. You can make an installation art. That is simply finding materials around in your everyday life and making a piece of art with them. As you can see in these first two pictures, they are made with things in nature. So you would collect these objects, maybe sports equipment, art supplies, even food, and you would arrange them in the same style of mandala, starting with a central point and working out into bigger circles or squares, making sure that it is staying geometric and symmetrical. 
these make great pictures. So if you do an installation art, make sure you take a picture of it because it probably will not stay that way for long. And remember, don't forget to log on to your Google Classroom to answer the follow-up question for feedback. Have fun!